The beauty of Tarkov is that there are multiple ways to not only enjoy the game, but to be successful at it too. Whether you're a faster or a slower player, it all boils down to what works best for you. And as someone who's less mechanically gifted than most gamers, I like to approach fights at a slower pace. You gotta stand still. There we go. So in this video, I'm going to break down how I dealt with a four-man squad as a slower solo player using map knowledge and mind games to my advantage. And you're not going to want to miss how I almost messed it all up. I'm in Tarkov's Health Resort, a spot in the game infamous for PvP, to do what I thought was a quick quest. I got to grab a document in the west wing of this building, in room 306 to be exact, and extract. But right away, I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. I hear footsteps. I have no idea. Not only do I have a scav aggroed on me, but I hear multiple footsteps. This is like a full squad. So instead of just bum rushing in, I take my time and sit out here just to keep an ear out for info taking note of where they're going and how they're going to hold down this building. Ah. Unfortunately, my cover is blown because of the scav, so I have to make a move. It's a scav. Everything went quiet after killing the scav. I'm assuming this squad stopped moving altogether to hear out what's going on down here. So I stood still as well to not give them any more info. And thankfully, it kind of worked. They started sprinting around again and looting rooms, giving me some time to work. It seems like their priority is to really loot up and only fight if they have to. I finally commit to entering the building into a safer spot, but still with the same game plan. Stay quiet and hear out for info. I'm trying to listen to what type of surface they're stepping on, whether it's concrete, wood, hitting barbed wire. All this will give me accurate info of what floor they're at and what room. I hear one open weapon crate in one of the second floor rooms to my left. Then I hear another one roaming the first floor to my left as well. I take a quick peek to my left and thought I saw a moving pixel in the dark. I honestly wasn't 100% sure, but I'm trusting my gut here. I see him. He's behind the light. One player behind the light. Someone close right here. I don't want to shoot him from, from that distance because I might whiff. It has to be a head tap. If I shoot him, I'm going to reveal my position. I'm not probably not going to kill him. Oh, he's in freaking... He's in barbed room. And there, I hear a third to my right. He's in the second floor room with barbed wire in it. Now that I've confirmed that it's at least a three man, it's a matter of knowing when to strike. And it usually boils down to one condition for me. I have to isolate at least one member of the squad and get a jump on him. Based on these footsteps, it sounds like the full squad has regrouped together at the second floor and they're making a move through Elbow and into Skybridge. This is a huge opportunity for me to catch one of them on their flank. So I finally make my move. I couldn't shoot him through the stairs. What the heck? Oh. And just like I wanted, I got a jump on one of them. It also sounds like they're busy taking fire from across the sky bridge. So I take this opportunity to do a full flank down the hall and up the stairs to get behind them. I saw a guy at the end. He went to the middle. I can hear him. He went to the middle stairs. We'll go basement. I don't get the kill on this guy, but I'm sure he's hurt. 
I don't want to get greedy either and just push down the hall. So instead, I go for another full flank, this time through the basement to get to the other side of the building and back up to their floor. He's here first. Sounds like first. It could be wrong though, it could be second. Tarkov audio. I thought it was a scav shooting me. I think these are players from admin. I was wrong here. It was definitely scav shooting me, not another squad. And again, just like earlier in the raid, scavs blow my cover. And I was so nearly about to get a flank on another member of their squad. But because of this, now they roughly know where I am. hit me up pretty good so I take the time to heal up and repack my mags. But while I do this, I hear him make a full send sprint to flank me from the other side of the building, but because of my map knowledge, I know exactly what he's doing. He's flanking. He's flanking. He's gonna pop out here. Job's not done though. I already hear his teammate coming to avenge. One more coming. Yep, to the right. He's stimming up. Vaseline. Can't tell if he's up or down. He has to be down. He's fixing his mags. Oh, he's up. I think I hear one more. He just hit Barb. He's about to pop down. I think there's one behind. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yep, there's one more behind me. It's two. I can't peek this. Someone's behind here. And yes, there's definitely one more to my right. It's actually a four man squad total. They have a solid plan down. Push my hallway from both ends. Yep. One to the right, one to the left. I'm pinched. But I stay calm, collected, and patient. I have the advantage of positioning. They have no idea where I am. This guy did not check his corners at all, so I got that free kill. What I assumed they were thinking there was that I was holding an angle where I could get a clear line of sight of his friend's body. So he didn't bother checking angles that didn't have visibility on it. But with three down, there's still one more to go. And I last heard him holding the left side of the hallway. I'm gonna push this guy. If he tries to push me, I push him first. Like I just said, my plan was to counter push him before he peeks into my room. So I wait for him to get closer, and then I push out. It's Cav. But unfortunately, I misjudged how close he already was. It's one more. It's just a scav. guess the right room but we got the jump on him gg holy this fight oh my goodness dude that was a close call because of my slight error he almost got me but thankfully we won that 50 50 fight i took as much loot as i could tetrising my way through this victory and finished the job i was originally here for if you enjoyed this slower approach to tarkov you're gonna want to see how i apply this as a duo